Today's video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. One of the reasons NVIDIA has been dominating the GPU market in the past years, and even when AMD actually presented some really, really good gaming GPUs, was because of their software performance, or let's say, their hardware performing extremely well in certain software. And that was because of CUDA acceleration. And AMD does have a competitor to CUDA, which is called Rockham. And if you didn't see my previous video about AMD Rockham actually coming to Windows, and if you actually saw that video and you came to the comment section telling me, oh no, this is just for Linux and so on, it is in fact for Windows and it is now supported for Windows as we speak. Do you understand? If we go to AMD's official Rock'em Platform 5.5.1 page, we actually have the GPU and OS support for Windows, and on the supported SKUs, we actually have the Windows supported GPUs part, and we have the Radeon Pro like we did before, um, the, the Radeon Pro for example the W7900, W7800, W6800 which is RDNA2, basically they support RDNA2 and RDNA3, uh, but for the Pro cards, like for example the Radeon Pro 7, which was already supported before, but now, two days ago, the support has been added for other GPUs, other Radeon GPUs. In this case, we have support for several RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 GPUs, basically the RX 6000 and 7000 series, with cards like the 6600 series and the 6700 series supporting indeed the runtime, but not supporting the HIP SDK, while the other cards, while the higher tier RDNA 2 cards like the 6800 series, 6900, 6900 series, sorry, and cards like the RDNA 3 ones, uh, like the 7600 series and the 7900 series, supporting the full package of runtime plus HIP SDK. And if you don't know what HIP is, well, it is actually kind of a tool that allows the developers to easily convert the CUDA, the CUDA, um, let's say the CUDA, <laughs> to easily convert the CUDA code to the Rockham code, allowing the AMD GPUs to actually run CUDA software or run CUDA code uh, with some easy steps from the developers. So they don't need to rewrite all the code, they can, they can kind of just convert the CUDA code to the Rockham code and then run it on the AMD GPUs. And if you don't know much about this, this is actually very, very important. Because, for example, if you're running applications like, let's say, uh, video compression and decompression, the AMD GPUs all already do a very, very nice job, mostly the RDNA 3 GPUs that do a very, very good job in compressing and decompressing or compiling or decompiling things like, for example, audio, video and so on. The AMD GPUs do very well then uh, in that scenario. They do very well, for example, in Premiere. They do very well, uh, for example, in Photoshop. But in things like Blender, they do horrendously bad, horrendously bad, because they get completely stomped and smashed by the NVIDIA counterparts, well, they even get smashed by older NVIDIA GPUs that are much faster than the RDNA 3 ones on Blender, which is, well, really, really bad. But now with the official support for those RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 GPUs uh, on Rockham on Windows, not only on Linux, on Windows, the developers can actually transcript, transcript, that's kind of a word, the correct word, I believe, they can kind of use that same hip translation layer or translation tool, let's call it that, to convert the CUDA code to Rockham code to be able to raise and increase outstanding, to outstanding levels the performance of AMD GPUs in Blender. Well, not to outstanding le levels, but to outstanding levels compared to where they are now. They will, in some scenarios, they will lose completely, but in most scenarios they will be able to match or get really close to their NVIDIA counterparts, which is a very, very good thing, because now they are being completely demolished in things like Blender once again. And yeah, basically this short video is really just to tell you that AMD Rockham is now officially supported 5.5.1 and we do have the RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 GPUs officially supported 
on Windows, okay? Instead of being on Linux like we had for several years, we have official support on Windows from AMD for RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 GPUs. So, people actually trying to use AMD GPUs to work in things like Blender, rejoice because finally you might actually be able to use the full potential of your GPU. Finally. And well, I do hope that more good things come from uh, AMD. And, and once again, like I told you in the, in the driver's video, more interesting things are coming. Just give it some days because they will come. Um, and well, now we have Rockham, more interesting things will come. FSR 3 maybe is around the corner as well. So yeah, things are getting interesting on the AMD software side, but still, still very green in some aspects, but getting definitely better. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and see you soon.